Enough, the aide who helped bring down a president, is written by Cassidy Hutchinson, who served as a top aide to President Donald Trump's chief of staff, Mark Meadows, during the Trump administration. The book details Hutchinson's experiences within the Trump White House, offering first-hand insights into key events and the inner workings of the Trump presidency leading up to and including the January 6, 2021 Capitol riot. In Enough, Hutchinson presents an insider account of the Trump White House from her unique vantage point. She recalls how she was drawn to Washington, D.C.'s political scene with steep aspirations. Initially an intern, Hutchinson quickly ascended the ranks, eventually landing her role in close proximity to the most powerful office in the country. Her story begins as a young, ambitious, conservative-leaning political aspirant and goes on to narrate her disillusions and confrontations with the realities of power, influence, and governance. The book digs into the significant events and crisis moments of the Trump presidency. Hutchinson sheds light on her experiences during the administration's handling of the COVID-19 pandemic, noting the discrepancies between public statements and behind-the-scenes uncertainty and fears. She highlights the chaos within the administration, the struggle to balance public health with economic concerns, and the sometimes conflicting positions by Trump and his advisors. Hutchinson also addresses the Black Lives Matter protests following the death of George Floyd. She describes the administration's response, internal discussions, and the controversial photo op at St. John's Church. Her narrative presents a picture of a White House frequently in turmoil, grappling with public outcry and media scrutiny. The core of the book focuses on the post-election period in late 2020 and early 2021, when President Trump and many of his allies refused to concede after losing the election to Joe Biden. Hutchinson provides an account of the Stop the Steal campaign, detailing the inner circle's efforts to overturn the election results, the various legal challenges, and the mounting pressure on Vice President Mike Pence to reject the electoral votes. As Hutchinson's account unfolds, she brings readers to the crescendo of the January 6 Capitol riot. The book chronicles the build-up to that day, taking us through her increasing concerns and the anticipation of violence, fueled by the inflammatory rhetoric of Trump and the circle of advisors around him. She describes the rally that preceded the violent breach of the Capitol, her perception of Trump's intent, and the reactions of various White House staff. In her narrative, Hutchinson is candid about her own role, grappling with loyalty, duty, and her growing sense of alarm. She recounts moments of dilemma and the decision points that led her to question the direction in which the administration was heading. Her testimony speaks to her eventual disillusionment with President Trump, his handling of his office, and the divisive political landscape that was fostered. The story continues with the aftermath of January 6th, during which Hutchinson describes a White House in disarray and a president increasingly isolated from many in his party and government. She touches upon the final days of the Trump presidency, reflecting on the impact of the Capitol riot on national politics and Trump's legacy. Hutchinson faced significant scrutiny and pressure for her role, particularly as she decided to testify before the House Select Committee investigating the January 6 attack. In her account, she confronts the weight of that decision, the personal and professional ramifications, and her reasoning for choosing to speak out. In Enough, Hutchinson's narrative culminates in a powerful reflection on democracy, accountability, and the rule of law. She assesses her journey from an ardent supporter of Trump to a critic of the former president's disregard for democratic norms. Her story concludes with a call to action for accountability, transparency, and the preservation of democratic institutions. While Enough serves as a personal memoir, it also functions as a cautionary tale about the fragility of democratic systems when confronted with authoritarian impulses. Hutchinson's proximity to power allows her to paint a vivid portrait of the Trump White House's tumultuous final days and to reflect on her own awakening to the importance of standing up for her principles, even in the face of immense pressure. Through her narrative, readers gain an intimate glimpse into the complex dynamics and decisions that define modern American politics. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.